Good afternoon YouTubers and what we're going to do today is uh, design a new dive ladder. So this is the dive ladder that I spent about £200 on uh, getting made and uh, as you can see it's kind of not fit for purpose. It's massive and uh, it's quite heavy and trying to locate um, the two ends into there and you know over the edge of the boat each time you want to use it it's just ain't gonna happen is it so I've had to I'm trying to design a much easier a much lighter much simpler ladder it's going to be on the basis of those ones that are that you can wear with your fins still on you know it's just like a, like a bar going across um, yeah so I've just been the steel merchants in uh, the Treasure Divers uh, tour bus and it's locked. We've got some steel, some tube, some box uh, and in there are those seats that came out all cut up ready for the uh, scrap. Well I've got, uh, I'll take them over to a friend's that's got um, skips and uh, I can dump them in there. So let's see what we can do with this steel. Right, so this is a sort of, this is the look. It's basically just going to be a, an eight foot piece of box. It's going to have rungs in it. So I've got, I'm going to drill holes all the way through and push a bar through. So the bar is, you know, like sticking out this much both sides. Weld it up. And that'll be it. And then uh, I've got to weld this piece at that angle onto onto here butt weld it onto there and it's only got to come be up to about there or uh, no it only has to be about there and then we're going to make some kind of receiver for it just to slot into it'll just slide into a receiver and then uh, put a pin through it so yeah that's it. Simples. Eighteen 
inches. I wish I had 18 inches. So here we go, we've just done the cutting, which you've seen. Uh, sorry about the shadows, it's that time of day and the sun's coming down. So I've got my angle here, which we want. Uh, and it, like I said, it's, we're going to build some kind of receiver using these two bolt holes. So there'll be a, there'll be a piece coming over here, going down, and then we put a pin through it. Hopefully that'll be enough. Yeah, so that'll be welded to that. So we've got a nice sort of, I don't know what that is, 15 degrees. Something like that. A nice 15 degree angle to walk up the ladder, which is comfortable. As you, you're leaning forward then, you, you've got a lean, a bit of a lean on it, as opposed to hanging on. So uh, yeah, well there it is. And then Here we go, here's a bar. Cut eight of these. They will go through holes in there, so they'll be threaded through halfway like that and then welded up. And there, I think they're just about the right size. And there's one every foot, so and three and three inches off the top, three inches off the bottom. Let's see what happens. Right, here we are in the workshop. We're trying to uh, make a new ladder. This is ladder mark two, dive ladder. Uh, so I cut the steel and now I'm putting the holes in to thread, I need a wider angle on this lens I think, to uh, thread these through. So they'll go through like that and then be welded in place. So I've got a trusty Starrett hole saw here, which I always use Starrett's. Uh, let's, uh, let's do the rest of them. Westway lubricants, thread cutting oil, it's pretty good. Smoking! Here's the ladder with the rungs threaded through. Okay, and then this, not exactly here, but this sits on there like that. I can't remember exactly where it goes, but it, it'll sit something like that. Uh, an angle and then that will just the whole thing will just slot into a receiver on the side of the boat now to make the receiver I've managed to find a piece of box here and that slides in how cool is that so then that will slide in there and we'll put a pin through it a bolt uh, just to secure it and that's it 
So unlike the other ladder where you have to try and get two things in at the same time, which is almost impossible, this is just the one. Now it doesn't go all the way in yet because there's a little story behind that. On these box, on this box steel, there's a join. I don't know if you can see it, but right in the centre of there, there is just down there. There is a joint, a seam goes all the way down. A seam and it's raised, and that prevents this from sliding down. So. We have to stand here for a long time with a file, trying to file the seam down. So that's the boring bit. Okay, let's see if it works. So I managed to get this bit of plate scrap from down the road, down at the merchants. They gave me that. I think you call it drop, a drop in the States, don't you? This is a drop. Anyway, it's a nice piece of four mil. Would have been nice if it's five mil, but I'm not going to look a gift horse up the bum. So, so that's the base for our receiver. So this goes, gets bolted onto the boat like that. Two bolts through there which I'm about to mark up and that gets bolted on to the side of the boat. Now this is uh, the back plate off of the, off of the first Mark 1 ladder and because the holes are exactly the same in the same places I'm even going to use, I'm going to use the back plate as well but I'm just using this to make the holes in the receiver plate. What I've got to check is that the receiver fits in between the two bolt holes. Only just. Yeah, it'll be fun. I think. Right, time to break out the welder. I'm going to tack it up. You've all seen welding before, so, and the battery's going on the camera. So, I'm going to turn it off. But you get the idea. Right, so I've welded up all the rungs and now I'm on the receiver. I just started the receiver. That's obviously upside down, that's the plate and then the receiver's on top. Right, and here it is finished. So it's painted, the receiver's uh, painted and bolted in. Got a hole through here, uh, we've got a hole through here, so this basically just slots, it basically just slots in there, this bit does, into the receiver, put a pin through or a bolt or whatever to secure it, and there you go, we've got our dive ladder. It's nice and deep, that should go in, you know, nicely, I should be able to just literally step onto it and walk up. And then obviously this bit here is, 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 is a handle, this bit here is then becomes a handle because you walk up holding on to these 
and then step off and into the boat. I mean, it's you know, I haven't invented this idea. Obviously, you can buy these um, these dive ladders because they're specifically designed so you can wear your fins uh, to go up and down them. But uh, I like the idea. Obviously, I've had to adjust the fitting to uh, fit this boat. But uh, apart from that, yeah, it's a tried and tested uh, design. So. Uh, if it's any good, if it works, then um, I shall get somebody to make it out of aluminium for me. I should be able to just give them the whole thing as a pattern and say, well, I'll just reproduce that in aluminium and that'd be about 70% lighter because it is bloody heavy still. But the, the great thing is it's only got one thing. You only have to locate one, one thing. Whereas on the other dive ladder, which is over here still, you had to struggle to locate two um, receivers, one here and one, one down there and to get them both in at the same time was a real struggle so uh, that's why that one failed <laughs>